I'm Bonnie Christian and this is the Evening Standards front page. A vaccine expert says deaths from very rare blood clots linked to the Oxford AstraZeneca jab can be avoided if treated promptly and correctly. Professor Adam Finn, who is a member of the UK's Joint Committee on Vaccination and Immunisation, explains that swift action could stop many of these cases of thrombosis becoming fatal. The MHRA says that as a precautionary measure, anyone who has certain symptoms four days or more after receiving the AstraZeneca vaccination is advised to seek prompt medical advice. Myanmar's UK ambassador has blasted the military regime's unacceptable and disrespectful actions after he was locked out of the London embassy and forced to spend the night in his car. Chor Swar Min described the apparent seizing of the embassy by the military junta as a coup d'etat in central London. Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab condemned Myanmar's bullying that saw the ambassador shut out of the building in Mayfair last night. Night. The envoy broke with the junta last month when he called for the release of Myanmar's elected leader, Aung San Suu Kyi. Ministers in the Stormont Executive have condemned the violence and rioting that has erupted in Northern Ireland, prompting united calls for calm to be restored. The Northern Ireland Executive issued a joint statement following a meeting of the power-sharing administration to discuss the escalating public disorder. Ministers were given an update by PSNI Chief Constable Simon Byrne, who described attacks on police officers, public services and communities as deplorable and said they must stop. The restaurant and bar group behind some of London's biggest alfresco venues has already taken bookings for more than 300,000 drinkers and diners in an amazing scramble for tables from April 12. Ed Devonport, the chief executive of Incipio Group, which is reopening Lost in Brixton, Pergola Paddington and The Prince in West Brompton, says demand had been overwhelming. He says it shows the level of pent-up demand for the eating out experience, adding that after a year, people are fed up with restaurant meal kits at home. And finally, Khloe Kardashian defended her right to edit pictures of herself after an unfiltered snap was mistakenly shared online. The reality TV star's team tried to have the unedited photograph showing the 36-year-old standing by a pool in a leopard print bikini removed from social media. However, this resulted in some fans sharing it more widely. In response, Kardashian shared a video of herself wearing only bikini bottoms, hiding her chest with her arm, saying it was to prove her body was not photoshopped. For more on these stories, visit standard.co.uk.